Hi, and welcome to Mail Day with Bearded Tinker. Let's see what packages the mailman brought this time. We'll start in a couple of seconds. But before we proceed with today's video and look at what packages we have in store today, let me first thank all the wonderful people that are supporting me on the YouTube channel and have become my YouTube channel members. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. And now, let's look at what packages Mailman brought this time. This is a big package, it's a lot of foam and I always find it interesting that every time I ordered one of these they were packed like uh, you're shipping a nuclear bomb that is protected during the shipping but there is a reason for that. So, once again it doesn't say anything here. I have to disappoint you, it's really nothing that interesting. So opening takes a lot more than this item. So these nuclear rods are really magnets. A lot of them. I don't remember how many I ordered, hundreds, 280. 150 but I need a lot of them for one of the projects that I will be doing from scratch when I change my printer for a new one so for what are these each of the SMD boxes will get I will not be putting them inside now we'll get one inserted here as I said I'm not going to insert any in this box here because this is one that I used for testing this is not my design so each of them will go like this and then you can just stack multiple of these SMD holders one to the other and they will not open whatever so yeah the idea is to use those specific shapes and sizes for boxes like this very uninventful I know but it's great to see that even with 3D printed objects you can improve them. As you can see here, this is not printed completely, so you can pry this open and insert one inside. And if you have multiple holders, you can just stack and glue them or hold them together with the magnets nice let's check the web listing for the magnets and I have to put them somewhere safe because with the last ones just kids yeah they started playing with them and I couldn't find them anymore oh this will be interesting one how to okay die magnet die yeah I will never get them inside Ah, can't forget it. <laughs> Let's check the web listing. This is the listing for the magnets. I did get 100 pieces of them. I'm not sure. I think I may need some more. Three of those magnets go into the box. So each of the boxes needs three magnets. That means that I can make 33 boxes, which at this point is enough, but I want to get some more as spare ones. Uh, yes, so I got 100 pieces, it's 3 euros and 57 euro cents with 1 dollar and 19 euro cents shipping. Or if you go for more expensive and the version with the tracking, it costs 3 euros. So for 6 euros and 57 cents, you get 100 pieces of those. I really do like those magnets and... Yeah, uh, to be honest, I still, it, the first part of the video when I opened the package was recorded some 9, 8, 9, 10 months ago, but I still haven't inserted the magnets in the boxes. Oh, I did insert in one of the boxes just to test if everything is working, but 
I was waiting to reprint those cases because I'm not happy on how the how those cases currently look. So I will reprint them in another material, probably in ABS, uh, white ABS. And when I reprint them, I will use those magnets to be able to stack those uh, component um, holders uh, one to another. By the way, in the description of the video, you will find a link to the STL files that I use to print those boxes. So if you want to print those boxes, and I really do recommend even if you have only few of those uh, surface mounted components on the reels or on the, on the tape, they are much easier to keep and use from those boxes. I know that there are ready-made boxes. Uh, you can buy some of the Thindy, I think, also. Uh, maybe even better designs, but I really like the ones that I'm currently using. And if you did find some other box that you may recommend, send it my way, the STL files or the links. I have been using various type of those magnets for some time now. I have square ones, which I use to hold things. Uh, I have those here that are used for those SMD boxes. And I also have a lot larger ones that I used for the Warren build and also for some mods to the Warren build, for example, uh, the doors are held on the Warren printer uh, with those small magnets uh, for the, yeah, for, of course, for the clicky. The clicky probe is the alternative for bed leveling on Warren printers. So, yeah, I order more or less everything from this shop. It's shop 58080388 with the 97.9 positive feedback. And that's it. Let's check the next item. Just don't ask me why I bought this. So these are the SMD practice boards. These are 0805, so probably these are 060 whatever. This is one board. Let me zoom in first. It's a bunch of LEDs, diodes. So LEDs go here. Let's see components. So these are the LEDs. Those two go here. Wow. I don't even know what this is, but those go here. These are also LEDs, but smaller ones. Oh, I really look forward to soldering these ones. So these should go here, probably. Resistors, 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 capacitors. I don't know. I really don't know what these are. They have one, two, three, four legs on the each side. What is this? TJ56266. R1 D1. It's like a resistor and diode or something like that. Well, doesn't matter. So this will be the idea even is not for this to work. The idea is for me to use these for the uh practice. You know, more practice the better. With soldering hot air gun and let's check this one I, I think that I even had this one let's see what's inside wow what are these zero fours or even with glasses I cannot see them properly once again, these are ones with a lot of legs, 0606, whatever this is. I really don't know what component this is. Uh, 0805, QFP44, two times. Yeah, I know, I know static electricity, but there is no static electricity now currently. So one two okay these go here one two three four five six 
zero four zero twos these go here down these are the diodes diodes where are diodes i don't see marking for the rec oh they are they are here okay and you missed half of it because i didn't put it in frame yeah so zero six zero three zero eight zero fives zero four zero two's resistors whatever zero six zero six is controls sops whatever these are and diodes go here so these two boards will be used for my soldering practices okay we spent too much time on this uh let's check the web listing i think i bought two two and a half three years ago my first smd soldering kit at that time i ordered it to try to do hand soldering when i ordered my hot air gun uh, soldering iron or or hot air gun for soldering i ordered this kit and also this kit here to be able to test or to be able to be able to practice unfortunately or i still didn't um, use any of them maybe it would be fun to try and solder one of those uh, with the soldering iron and the other one on the and the other one with the hot air gun on a stream so if you think that it could be a fun idea because i'm not good at soldering and maybe it can be a good laugh to see me trying to get this one this one should work i think that it should flash the lights or or wave the lights or something like that while i'm not really sure if this one does anything or it's just a practice board you see you have 0805s, 0603s, 0402s, some ICs, diodes, things like that, which is really a good practice to, to see if you can solder things, solder those things or not. So you can either use it with the hot air gun or with the soldering iron. Those two previous boards I, I used for testing or for practicing, I used it specifically with the soldering iron. So yeah. The price of this one is one euro and ten cents with uh, 95 cents shipping or one dollar shipping if you are using the tracking option and this one is two euros 15 cents with uh, eight cents shipping if you are using the tracking option no still no yeah tracking option unfortunately this one here is not from the this one here is not the same shop where i bought mine but this is the board or the kit that i bought uh, I wasn't able to track down the item was currently unavailable. So this link will point you to the practice board that is currently uh, available. But this is not the same shop where I ordered this board from. While this, yeah, this one is from this shop. Maybe you will be able to get this one in stock at the time of the video release. I didn't do any previous purchases from this store. So besides ordering those, those did arrive. Um, I cannot tell you of any other experiences with them. I would really love to buy more kits, more kits like this or some other kits, for example, DIY radio, clock, alarm clock, stopwatch, whatever, dice, Christmas trees, ornaments, things like that. So if you think that it could be fun to, to get some different kits for either uh, trying to solder or, or, or learning how to solder or some small DIY projects, uh, leave me a comment and maybe I will get some. Let's check the next item. Yeah, of course, nothing here. And these are tips. Yeah, of course, they are not sorted by the size, but from the smallest, which I, no, no, from non-existent, which is this one, smallest up to the largest. I think this one is the largest one. We have seven tips and I needed those for the solder paste and soldering flux. They should fit the soldering paste. They need to be able to, you need to be able to screw them in. They're straight here, but they have groove here. So that should be okay. Yeah, the funny thing is that I tried to buy this or source this locally, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything even remotely looking 
as these are, so I had to order them from AliExpress. Let's check the web listing. This is why I ordered a bag with 50 of those from AliExpress. The cost was €2.77 Euros and 77 cents with uh, 57 cents uh, shipping with tracking option because I'm not buying any stuff anymore without the tracking. Without tracking, items usually travel 60 plus days. With the tracking, I usually get them in two, three, maximum four weeks. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of different gauges uh, for the tips. Those here, which range from 14 up till I would say 22, are great for the uh, soldering or for using either the soldering paste or the flux in the tube. I did use so far only three, maybe four, just to test the different uh, tips for them and permanently install them either on the soldering flux or soldering paste. Creativity Life Tool Store with the 96.4 positive feedback. I didn't order so far anything else besides these items here, but I was pretty happy. If you need needles for the paste or the flux, go for them. Let's check the next item. And another unnamed package. Oh, this one has something here. TSBC2. This is the soldering uh, iron tip. And this one is, let me zoom in. As you can see, the tip is like cut. Uh, so this should be easier to use when soldering. Let's check the web listing for this soldering tip. It's TSBC2. So yeah, uh, this item has only one star with the 100% one star review, which is very, very yeah low. Let me tell you a story. So I did order this item. I did eventually receive it. I did get my money back. But what I don't like here is that it says that items are shipped from Poland to Croatia via other post PL, so something from Poland via other post service. There is also option to send from Spain to Croatia, which costs a little bit more and should arrive a little bit faster. It's six days from now okay both options have tracking unavailable so what's my problem with this item it wasn't sent from poland i did contact a couple of times seller and they were always saying something different than what the reality was i don't have issues with packages coming late i don't have issues with transportation logistics problems. I don't even have issue if, for example, seller currently doesn't have that item. He notifies me that the item is currently not available. It will be available at his shop in five days and he can send the item in five days. The problem was here that the seller said that they sent the item. After a couple of weeks from Poland to Croatia, which is, you know, yeah, I can walk probably to Poland. I contacted them and through the conversation, I figured that they are not sell sending the items from Poland, they were sending it from China. If I would be aware that the item was sent from China, either I would opt out and buy this from another store, or I would you know, not wait for that item to do some projects with it. So yeah, the problem for me is here, the lack of communication from the seller to the buyer. But still, I did receive this BC2 tip, that's the one here, and this is now my go-to tip for most of the soldering I do with TS100. When I bought the iron, I think I got this TS1 or something like that, let me see. It was a thin, something like this, so probably TS1. It's very hard to solder the SMD components with it. And so, yeah, I think that this is a better choice for soldering electronic components. And as I said, this is currently my go-to tip. I still have spare tip. This is, I think, TSI, this one. As I mentioned, 
I'm unhappy with the communication. I'm happy with the item. I was expecting it to arrive in a week because items don't usually travel more, more than a week between the Poland and Croatia. And it took 40, 50 days for this item to arrive. So this is the, this is the reason why I was, and I did give this item a bad review. But if I would order, if I would need any other tip, I would most probably still order it from this shop, but would keep my expectations low in terms of the speed of transportation. So yeah, just be careful about that. The price was around four euros and 94 cents. And it says that it's four euros, 70 cents, 70 cents shipping. So yeah, let's check the next item. Let's open this one up. And we have here LDO water. And I love it that it already comes pre-crimped with the microfit connector because yes, this one will need microfit connector on this side. And if you need longer cables, you can use this microfit and use this to connect to your MCU. So this is LDO uh, with 10 pin gear, 20 millimeters, 36, and it should be also high temperature. And this one will be used for the new stealth burner for the uh, Voron 2.4. I'm currently using the Clockwork 1 with the stealth burner beta, but I want to upgrade to Clockwork 2, although this is a lot uh, this one is not as strong as the current motor I'm using. I'm using currently also LDO motor, but high temperature normal one, not this one pancake style. Let's check the web listing. Well, I have two of those. Uh, I was hoping for a refund, but unfortunately both of the packages arrived. So I ordered this one and all the other items I ordered at the same time arrived in a seven, 10 days for this package. I did get notification that it arrived in Hungary and usually takes after the item arrives to Hungary, a couple of days, maximum five working days. And I have the package here at home. This item didn't arrive. Everything else arrived. So I contacted the shipping company. They said that I can try and open the dispute or contact the seller for the refund because probably package is lost. I contacted the seller and they told me to please wait a week or two because I still had time uh, in the in the purchase protection in the Aliexpress. I was also in a hurry to order the motor. So I said, okay, I reordered the motor, but this one here that is currently unavailable. So this one is 17 millimeters and I ordered 20 millimeters and now I have two 20 millimeters, which is also okay. Uh, these motors can die. I never ever had so far any problem with the with any motor, especially the LDO motors. But since this motor is in the heated chamber, since this motor can heat up, at least now I have a spare motor. So this motor is used for the Clockwork 2, which is part of the Stealth Burner Plus Clockwork 2 uh, hot end assembly for Warren type of the printers, not Warren V0s, but Warren Tridents, which were a 2.4 that I use, etc. I'm really happy with the with the motor. The LDO really makes great motors and, and components for the printers, not just motors. I ordered specifically this one because this one should be high temperature. I ordered 20 millimeters because 20 millimeters produce less heat, which uh, means that they are more reliable, which means also they have a longer lifespan. Those motors are recommended for stealth burner or clockwork too, because uh, they have the least of the resistance and it means that you can pump up more current, more current on the motor means more speed on the filament, more speed on the filament means that if your hot end, of course, can uh, melt the, uh, the filament, you get possibility to print things faster. So um, I've been using this motor now for almost a month, I think think yeah a month or something like that i think that i finished the build around christmas uh, upgrade to stealth burner beta zero and i've been using it since i don't have any issues as i mentioned previously uh when i was buying parts for my warm printer i went for all of the ldo motors 
high temperature version of the LDO stepper motors that are inside the chamber because the chamber can reach higher temperatures and the axis motors were normal or standard LDO motors. So if we are looking for the LDO motor and if they get any LDO uh, 20 millimeter stepper motors back in stock, you can buy them here. If you're in a hurry, try to find the same part number, part number here. I will be posting it also on the screen. So LDO 36STH20-1004ASG because this is the 20 millimeter version. Yeah, currently it's not available from this shop, but maybe some other shop on AliExpress has it. And the problem is that a lot of people that have Vorons or have or want to build similar hot tents are buying those pancake stepper motors. Let's check the last item for today. Let's check this package. Modeling clay. This one is terracotta. This one is plain white. And we have clay modeling and sculpting set. Yeah, I know it's strange. This one is not for me. This one is for my kid. She is artistic one, so she wanted to get a clay and I saw this kit that includes both two types of the clay and also this modeling or sculpting kit which I think will be better than you know doing by hand so we have one two three four five six seven eight tools I have no idea what this here is this is a sponge scrapers, knives, things like that, and I presume you have to thread the wire between those two to, you know, cut the clay or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I got this kit out of Amazon and she will be happy. Let's see or hear how happy she will be. Zita! So she is giving it a 10 out of 10. Okay, let's check the web listing. This is nothing related to smart home or DIY projects or 3D printing, but it's fun and kids will love it. I ordered this item. This item is two kilos of clay, one the pale or white one and the other one is reddish orange clay, kilo of each. Plus you receive a lot of tools. The reason is simple. My daughter, she likes art. She does a lot of stuff. She knows how to upcycle, recycle stuff, reuse stuff, but she also likes to work with clay. And she didn't have any tools, so I decided to buy this kit because everything is included. And yeah, it did last two, three days and she used all the clay. But clay I can get locally and tools I have to go for professional one and she's not a professional so kit like this is great for everybody started working with the clay or trying to see if the clay is material for them or not. Yeah I know strange item but I really do like it and my kid loved it. She created a lot of mini sculptures, vases, things like that with it and I will definitely buy her more clay because there is nothing better than seeing kids have fun. And this is it for this Mail Day with Bearded Thinker. If you find any item on the internet that you think would be useful either to me or as a funny idea to get and see if this item works, how it works, etc., you can always drop me a link on the Discord server. There is a channel there called Great Finds. And yeah, you can post it there. And also don't forget if you find any sale on the internet, any good purchases or maybe projects that you want us to look at, you can post links there. If you try and post the link in the description of the video of the YouTube, unfortunately, YouTube is known to delete the comments. By the way, if you want to leave just comment without the links, you can do so here in the comment section below. But I still recommend that you try the Discord server because I see those messages much faster than I see the ones from the YouTube. If you did like this video and did find it interesting, please give me a thumbs up. This means a lot to me, but it also helps the channel. Thank you. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates or releases and of course streams. And I hope to have a stream next weekend. Until then, bye bye and have fun.